Hello everyone, welcome to the mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this beautiful limit. Limit x approaches to 0, 1 minus x times cotangent of x over x square. Okay, uh, at first glance, uh, I think uh, you may be uh, convert cotangent of x to uh, sine and cosine. So if we take uh, cotangent of x, you know, cosine of x over sine of x, then uh, you will uh, take the common denominator so we will have uh, sine of x minus x times cotangent of x over x square so uh, if we apply limit we have 0 over 0 form so uh, you may be uh, try to uh, differentiate apply to L hospitals rule but uh, this video uh, I am going to solve uh, this limit by using different method so uh, what do you think well, uh, first I am going to take a substitution. So I am going to take x is equal to pi times u. So we know uh, here limit. Now when x approaches to 0, we know u also approaches to 0. Here 1 minus x we know pi times u cotangent of uh, x again pi times u over x square we know phi square times uh, u square then we know phi square is a constant so we can take outside of the limit so we have 1 over uh, phi square here limit uh, u approaches to 0 now we have 1 minus pi times u cotangent of pi times u over here we have u square okay then here we have u uh, here uh, we u here u square so uh, I'm going to divide uh, both numerator and denominator by u. So we have here 1 over phi square limit u approaches to 0. Uh, if we divide by u, we have here 1 over u minus pi times cotangent of phi u over here we have u. Okay, then uh, what is the next step? Well, uh, here 1 over phi square limit u approaches to 0 here we have uh, 1 over u then pi times cotangent of pi u pi times cotangent of pi u so now i am going to uh, use the uh, relations between uh, digamma function so we know uh, the recurrence relation of digamma function digamma of c plus 1 is equal to Digamma of C plus 1 over C. Then uh, reflection formula of digamma function we know digamma of 1 minus x minus digamma of x is equal to pi times cotangent of pi x. Then I am going to take the series representation of uh, digamma function digamma of uh, 1 plus C is equal to minus gamma plus infinite sum 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus c okay this uh, all uh, relations uh, i proved in a previous video digamma function video if you like to watch uh, that video i will add the link in the description and also make a card okay then <coughs> here instead of phi times cotangent of phi u here we have pi times cotangent of phi x so if we multiply by minus sign uh, we have plus digamma of uh, u minus digamma of 1 minus u then over here we have u okay then uh, here 1 over phi square limit u approaches to 0 now another interesting thing is here 1 over u plus digamma of u 1 over u plus digamma of u we know this is equal to digamma of 1 plus c so we can write digamma of 1 plus c digamma of 1 plus c instead of c we have u minus digamma of 1 minus u over u okay then uh, here 1 over phi square limit u approaches to 0 now we have digamma of 1 plus u minus digamma of 1 minus u so we have series representation of digamma function 
diagram of 1 plus c is equal to uh, this expression so if we take uh, diagram of 1 minus c diagram of 1 minus c we know this is equal to minus gamma plus n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n now instead of c we have minus c now if we uh, subtract this uh, two formulas uh, we know we have uh, diagram of 1 plus c minus diagram of 1 minus c uh, is equal to we know uh, gamma get cancelled or less mass coronary constant and 1 over n also get cancelled so minus minus here plus so we have here u so 1 over u now diagram of 1 plus u minus diagram of 1 minus u is equal to uh, infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus u minus sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n plus u okay now we can simplify so 1 over phi square limit u approaches to 0 1 over u uh, here we have sum n is equal 1 to infinity then if we take the common denominator we have n minus u n plus u so difference of 2 square n square minus uh, u square then here n plus u minus n plus u okay then we know n get cancelled uh, u plus u we have 2 times u this u also get cancelled and uh, this 2 we can write uh, here 2 over phi score limit u approaches to 0 infinite sum 1 to infinity 1 over n square minus u score now when u approaches to 0 we have 2 over phi square uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square now here 2 over phi square uh, here we know this is the definition of Riemann zeta function zeta of 2 and uh, we know zeta of 2 is equal to phi square over 6 so phi square get cancelled 2 over 6 is equal to 1 over 3 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching